In this video, I will be showing you how to generate step files from OpenSCAD code. I will be using this part here, which is just a fully rounded cube with a few parts of it cut out with a difference. First, go to FreeCAD. Open up your preferences, go to Workbenches, and load the OpenSCAD module if it is not already loaded. Next, open your SCAD file. Make sure you select the SCAD file and not the STL file. If you use the STL file, your step file will not be properly generated. If you look closely, you will notice the rounded edges of the part are made up of many smaller meshes instead of one round mesh. If you export the part like this, any CAM software you use to generate a toolpath will give you a line segment error. If we go back to the SCAD code, you can see that I deliberately changed my rounded cube module to use eight spheres, one for each corner within a hull for this demonstration. This is the intuitive approach and is what the default OpenSCAD libraries use. Using a hull is fine for any shapes that are not round, but spheres, cylinders, circles, and any rotate, rotate extrusions should not be within a hull. I will now revert the code to my previous implementation, a union of eight spheres, 12 cylinders, three cubes, and reload the file in FreeCAD. As you can see, the rounded sides are now seen as continuous meshes instead of many line segments. Now we are ready to export the step file. Select all the geometry in the part. This is easier if there is a root operation in the SCAD file. For example, this part is defined by a difference at the root level. For this reason, all the parts I design have a union difference or hull at the root level, making it easy to select all of the geometry for the part in FreeCAD. Go to File, Export, Choose where you want it to be saved. Change the name and click Save. A dialog will pop up for you to select the units you want to use. I usually use the International Standard Schema. Click OK and your file will be generated. 